so now let's go over to my um, sends here. I've only actually got two, um, two return tracks. So this is a drum verb. I'm using the Valhalla Room uh, reverb, which is great. Um, and this is just a short reverb, um, a little bit of pre-delay on there just to let the transients come through so that the transients don't get immediately muddied by the reverb. Um, just a little bit uh, of pre-delay and then uh, the decay at about half a second, um, just over half a second. And then high cut around 5k and then depth. Um, I wanted to sort of push them back a little bit. I didn't want the reverb to be right up close because the drums the drums really needed to be quite strong in this tune um, and having the reverb depth down and having the reverb quite close can sometimes mess with the transient so having that spread out is uh is good i think for this kind of for this kind of track so if i solo this and play it So initially it sounds like uh, just like the clap is going through here. And it turns out, I think it is. I think it's just a clap and then the tops are going through the, some of the tops are going through the second reverb. Um, what else is going through here? Oh, okay. So yeah, the uh, Vox delay effects here. Yeah, so you can hear it a lot more there. Um, Again, I, my default template has these set up as drum reverb and general reverb. But a lot of times I'll just use this as a short reverb and this one as a long reverb. It doesn't have to strictly be for drums. Um, so I'll have, you know, different samples running through depending on how long I want the reverb time. So this is, yeah, a lot shorter, but a lot further away. And then this one's, uh, a lot longer and uses a different plugin and then after that i've just got a channel eq but i don't um i haven't used that but i just sometimes i have that on there um, by default just so i can mess with the output of the reverb if i want to make the reverb brighter or whatever whatever uh, and i'll always low cut everything before it goes into the reverb because i want the su i want the sub frequencies in the bass to be quite consistent and not reverbed at all and then this general reverb Is mainly is mainly being used for the music group stuff, um, so you might not be able to hear it. It's quite quiet. I'll turn it up so you can hear that stab. It's got it's being sent uh, quite a lot of the signals being sent there, um, and this again low cut. And for this one, I'm using the Fab Filter Pro R. Um, same people that did the Pro-Q, uh, Fab Filter, great, excellent people that make great, great plugins. Um, and yeah, so slightly longer delay on this one um, and stereo width slightly wider than the drum or short reverb one. Um, similar distance though, I would say. So I tend to use sends um, and returns for reverb rather than putting a reverb on every single track. There are cases where I will put reverb on individual tune, uh, on, on individual tracks, but um, a lot of the time it's just not necessary. I'll just use a send. And that is about it for Hypno Dancing on the Ground.